Well, there you go. Goddess, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Here comes one now! Amigo! Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I'll never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could 
Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Blah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Hey, Leo! Leo! What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Danny, is that... The Pearl! Ooh -wee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Danny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Ugh. Watch those hands, clams. I can't get anywhere near the sub. Ugh. 
I can't get anywhere. Hey, Chepito, go for a swim, will ya? You? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. See how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, Gaudon. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. <laughs> Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Hola, Angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. Meche's my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! 
you bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents? Our parents? Yeah! 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 Hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Mitchie, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone! <laughs> 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 what are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, He'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here. She'd be so sad here all alone. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> you know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. You're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> me? About what? Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. 
what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? You think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? It's empty. Our type of business doesn't produce a lot of paperwork. <gasps> Ow! Oh, my stockings! They're ruined! And this was my best hair! You try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, of uh, the, um... The speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Is that direction? Chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you 
get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? What do you got on you? I think it's some form of blue-green algae. Ah, oh, don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Stupid chisel. There it is. Stupido! Huh? Who? What? That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We? We are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins. You people and your fancy boats never know about it. Cause you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bus stall. Well, I got a long day of stupid chisel. Please, bust Carter. away. Lay down I'll show shoes. him. We're busted out of here. Man, if I had only gotten that book back from Terry, I could Hold really start some trouble still. here. Lay down your tools. We're busting out of here. Man, if I had only gotten that book back from Terry, I could really start some trouble here. Stupid to be huh? Who? What? Well, I got a long day. Please, bust away. Freaking, freaking. Freaking, freaking. I don't know how I'd get down there without this current taking me over the edge. Your tools. Aye, We're aye, out of here. Man, if I had only gotten that book to the moon, I could maybe start some trouble here. Yo, Beto, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. La di da di da da. La di da di da da. Hey, Chuffy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey. Bullets are hard to get. Ba-dum, da-dum. Ba-dum, da-dum. La-dee-da-dee-da-da. Nothing but dark water is that direction.
Cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh, yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good, too. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. It's not a handheld device. 